Andreas Ortner, uh, on behalf of Mbuild, welcome to Belgium, welcome to this wonderful location, which is uh, Cinema Plaza, and thank you for having us uh, for this uh, short Q&A. Hi Wim, uh, it's up to me to say thank you to have the possibility yeah, to speak with you, and I'm quite curious about your questions. Okay, so I won't keep you <laughs> waiting then. Mbuild has um, four objectives for next year's election, uh, one of which is uh, sustainable and affordable housing. In which way do you think um, a new construction technology such as cross-laminated timber can help us support this objective? Yeah, in fact, uh, the cross-laminated timber, the famous CLT, um, it, is, it is actually one of the, one of the really yeah, materials to favorize uh, in building construction because we can do it uh, in a prefab uh, way. We can do the most of things there in the production. And, um, and at the end, on the building side, you receive the material, the, the final product like you need it. And so at the end, yeah, you save money, you save time and uh, yeah, it's the future. Okay, thank you. Another objective is to modernize and uh, industrialize uh, the construction sector's uh, value chain, um, allowing our members to uh, increase their productivity while um, at the same time uh, deal with labor shortages. In what way can CLT contribute to, to these problems or to the solutions? The first part is that, okay, you, you order the CLT, you produce it and then you construct the building in CLT prefab. So it's, it's a very fast, it's a very fast chain, you know. Um, one thing is that, that we have really to take care. It's the engineering which we have to, to, to take in consideration. Because you cannot say, I, I have a project in concrete, um, nothing against concrete, for sure not. Um, I have a project in concrete and I want to, to build it one-to-one -one in CLT. No, this will not be possible, for sure not. So every material has its specialities, you know, and, uh, and then you respect it, then, then you, can, you can really have the efforts. And going back to the CLT, when you learn how to build with CLT, how to, how to engineer the CLT, then it's really material which could and which will change the, the, the building world uh, in Europe. Now in Belgium, um, many people still um, build their house using uh, bricks. That's the traditional way of building houses here, especially in the north. Obviously, a lot of our members, a lot of Belgian construction companies um, are used to building mm -hmm. in that way. Do you think it is possible for them to switch to CLT? Um, yes and no. What is the advantage of CLT? You can do the, 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 the prefabrication, you can, you, you can build in modularity and so on. And, and then when, when you say, okay, I want really to replace the traditional materials by CLT, then it will not work. Uh, but when you say, okay, the future is the hybrid construction, which means I take the right material for the right use. It could be steel, it could be bricks, it could be uh, concrete, it can be and it will be for sure also CLT. So uh, then, then it's, 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 quite, it's quite difficult to do a prefabrication in the company. So for that reason I say I have to say no, but yes in the way that you say okay I do the modularity uh, construction method, mm -hmm. so which means I'm, I'm really I'm doing yeah, the cubes and I, I don't know what, with the windows, with the frames, with the doors, uh, with, the, with the bathroom. Uh, really, I do the finished elements and uh, transport it to the, to the uh, construction site. Uh, then, then, for sure, CLT can change absolutely the construction world in Europe. Now, we live in turbulent times. There was COVID, there's a war going on in uh, Ukraine, another one in the Middle East. Apart from the, the human suffering, um, the global instability also causes prices of construction materials to rise. Do you think that um, switching to, to timber um, would make us less vulnerable to international markets? You, you, you can, yeah, you compare it even, even with, um, with other materials. Mm -hmm. So normally, for sure, the concrete is produced 
not far away because of the weight, because of the transport cost. Steel is already a little bit different, you know. Uh, but the timber, when you, when you look at more than 90% of the sawmills, they are buying the raw material, the logs, in a radius of maximum 150 kilometers. Why? Because of the transport cost, nothing else. So which means when you buy the timber from Belgium, from Belgium sawmills, you know that hey, uh, it comes from Belgium. So at the end, uh, no, we are not really independent from the international markets. The only thing is, when I'm buying, for example, here, when I'm a Belgian one, a Belgian guy, a Belgian uh, company, mm -hmm. uh, I buy CLT. Okay, I don't have the possibility to buy it from a Belgian company. So I have to go to Germany, I have to go perhaps, and I hope, to Austria, uh, or even to France, mm -hmm. you know. So there, yeah, I'm independent. So in fact, it's, yeah, it's an international market, but at the same time, for me, for us, it's a national market, you know. Thank you very much. Now, we have been talking about bricks as a typical Belgian product. We also have another Belgian product for you. It's also with a B, and I've put two I, I of think these. I know what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> so. Oh, wow, thanks a lot. It was a very interesting conversation. Um, I hope to see you very soon again. Okay, thank you for, uh, for dropping by. Uh, let's toast to this uh, conversation. Chin chin. Chin chin, <laughs> cheers. <laughs>